If the world population at the beginning of 2008 was 6.7 billion and growing exponentially at a rate of 1.16% per year, in what year will the population be double what it was in 2008? Okay, so they didn't give us the model this time. All right, but it's not difficult to come up with our model. Uh, the basic outline of these models is your population at some time t, p of t, is equal to p sub 0, that's the initial population, times 1, I'm going to say plus or minus, okay? If, you are, if your population is growing, then it's plus. If your population is decreasing, then it's minus. The rate... But that must be expressed as a decimal, okay, not as a percent. You've got to convert the percent to a decimal, and that is raised to the T. Okay, that is your basic exponential model for growth or decay. All right, so let's plug in the specifics here. Our initial population is 6.7 billion. Just write it as 6.7. Okay, and know that your answer is going to be in billions. Uh, don't put the, what, nine zeros that come with a billion. Okay. Um, times one is growing, so it's going to be plus. We have to express 1.16% as a decimal. I know that it's already a decimal, but it's just a decimal percent. Um, so to convert percents to decimals, we move two places to the left, so that would be 0 0.0116 to the T. Okay, now the question is, that's our model, the question is in what year will the population be double what it was in 2008? Well, in 2008 it was 6.7 billion. Double that is what, 13.4? Okay, so we set this equal to 13.4. And I'm going to, 1 plus any number is 1.0116. Okay, I'm just going to add those two numbers together there. <clears throat> Let's solve our exponential equation. Divide both sides by 6.7. Well, that's going to give us... Two, that's how we came up with 13.4. So 2 is equal to 1.0116 to the T. Write it in log form. Log base 1.0116 of 2. I know that looks really weird, but it is what it is. And it wants to know in what year will this occur, so we need to work this out. The log of 2 divided by the log of 1.0116. That's going to take a while. 60.0, uh, let's say 60.1 is approximately T. So we started in 2008. 60 years later, we're talking about the year 2058. But we are talking about the population doubling. That should take some time, right? And if we really want to get technical, it's probably not actually going to reach that because carrying capacities and diseases and, you know, all those other factors. But purely mathematically, that's the answer. Okay, let's look at one of these medicine problems again. Okay, if 500 milligrams of a medicine enters a hospital patient's bloodstream at noon and decays exponentially at a rate of 15% per hour, when will only 10% of the original amount be active in the patient's body? So let's set up our model. Uh, let's, I think they labeled theirs M of T on that other problem, so we'll do that for medicine. The amount of medicine at time T is equal to the initial amount, 500, times 1 minus, because it's decaying exponentially, 15% as a decimal is 0.15 raised to the T. Well, how much is 10% of 500? You know, a really easy way to do that? You move the decimal one place to the left. 
Okay, so 50 is what we're trying to figure out here. When will there be 50 milligrams? 1 minus 0.15 is 0.85. Divide both sides by 500. So 50 over 500 is 1 tenth. Write it in log form. The log of 0.85 of 1 over 10 is equal to T. Point one seven hours, uh, and they gave this to the patient at noon. So fourteen hours after noon would be like two a.m. Did it say? Last word problem here. <clears throat> if the average rent for a two-bedroom apartment in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and you may wonder, well, where, is, where did Kalamazoo come from? Uh, that's where your textbook was written, so this problem came from the textbook. It is currently $750 per month and increasing at a rate of 8% per year. In how many years will average rent for such apartments reach $1,000 per month? So let's set up our model. Uh, we'll say R of T since we're talking about rent. Doesn't really matter. I'm trying to get creative. It is currently $750 per month, so that's the initial. Times 1 plus because it's increasing at a rate of 8%. Well, 8% as a decimal is 0 0.08 raised to the T. And how many years will the rent reach 1,000? So we're going to set that model equal to 1,000. So divide both sides by 750. 100 over 75. Give us multiple by 25. 4 over 3. So that's the log base 1.08 of 4 over 3 is equal to our time. So log of 4 over 3 divided by the log of 1.08. Not very long. About just shy of 4 years. 3.738 years for the rent to increase by $250 per month. That's a lot. Okay, so got a few more problems.